Good morning guys, we are back with another video uh, nutrition wise and rant wise uh, it is a high carb eating day so today I am putting my carbs up high, my protein and fat slightly lower. Um, I think we're at a 50, 30, 20 split. Yeah, so 50, th uh, 50 carbs, protein 30 and fat 20% wise. So this morning, nothing unusual. Start with the porridge oats on a high carb day. Um, obviously get your green tea in. Uh, and I'll put some fruit with that. I won't bore you with uh, the editing of all of it. I've shown you how I cook it because I do a cool little edit. It's nothing special, but physique update. So there we go. It's starting to come out. I've lost some fat down there, I can tell. Because usually. I'm quite bloated uh, when I wake up, but we're getting there. But patience, it's been this is my it's been three weeks, four days now. It's coming up to my fourth end of the month on the cut. Patience, I've lowered my I start my calories at 3,500. We dropped no, 3,700 is my maintenance, so we dropped to 3,400. Then we went 3,200, now we're on 3,000. We'll keep it 3,000 for two weeks, see how I'm looking in my weight and in my body, and then maybe drop it another 100. I don't, don't want to go too low because I've got to keep my rugby up. It's just patience and consistency, and we will get there. Okay, so my breakfast made. Here we are. There it is. We have got. 150 grams of blueberries, 100 grams of banana, one scoop of banana whey, my protein, protein, uh, and 160 slash 175 probably um, grams of oats and 300 milliliters of milk. So I wanted to just a few things. First thing, so this video I'm going to talk about protein shakes. Number two. I'm going to talk about carbs while cutting. Um, and also number three, I know you've been noticing in my last video when I was in the gym, I was just filming like this, people around. Um, I've kind of been watching Rob Plitt, I think his name is. He says, the sooner you embrace the weirdness of filming, the better content you'll get. I'm starting to embrace it. I'm not fully there. I'm still a bit nervous around people looking, but we're getting there, so that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. Uh, macros are on the screen, carbs, fats, proteins, proteins, fats, here, there it is, calories, uh, I'm going to eat this down and I will talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, so I've had my breakfast, it is now 2 o'clock, I haven't breakfast at 12 o'clock, but I'm going to go to Booker's Wholesale to get some food, so I'll take you with me there. Chest and shoulders workout. Catch you later. Okay, so I'm working on my power for rugby. So doing five sets of five with a band from my protein. Um, 15 kg each side. Power. So if you want to increase your bench, strength wise, good exercise. Okay, so I'm doing shoulder press, the reason why I tilted and started. 
because it's easier on my shoulders. Whereas if I come, and also if I come down, I feel it more on my chest. So I don't know if it works, but it works for me. Um, still got a lot of strength. 30 kg. Not going bad. Session down, shower time, off to the shops. Get some, got some chicken, I get some mushrooms to add on to my food, get some salad, two forty nine for uh, compared to Tesco. See, they're selling big bulk. I don't want that much, I don't want to spend that much. So, I'm gonna get my chicken, smoked salmon. Chicken salmon, smoked salmon. Tempeh. Stay away from the sweet aisle when you're on a cut. Honestly. I'd happily eat the jar of that. Look at all this. Look at all of this. I've got loads of stuff. Oh, they got nuts. Nuts. I need some almonds. So they do good prices here. But then again, they kind of get you as well. Because it's cheaper than like Tesco and some things. Not all things. Minimal amount of things. Okay, so that's us done here. We only spent, uh, we, me, uh, camera, 27 pounds. I'll show you everything I've got when I get home, but off to Tesco to buy a few things that they do not sell. Okay guys, I'm back from the shop. I got eggs, chicken, fish, potatoes, uh, we're going here, rice cakes, lean beef, whole wheat wraps, 
some cheap ketchup for some sauce. Let me put you up here. <laughs> Spinach. Uh, mango and passion fruit. Uh, green tea for metabolism. Get a bit of, bit of taste in there. Tomatoes. Bibas. Coconut oil. Essential fats. Not essential fats. Good fats. It is actually. As always. Chicken. This, the only sauce I hate, spices, herbs, anything, the only stuff I like on my chicken. So the hydration, just four of these, different flavours I won't bother showing you. Some pasta, two of these, that's the sauce. Uh, that is it, the final bill came to £40. All of this, which is not bad. So unpack, I'm going to cook a post-workout meal and I'll show you what it is. It's been about an hour since I finished my workout, so <coughs> over an hour, when I'm hungry, I'm going to hand wrap, protein shake, get that protein intake higher throughout the day, so I'm going to have two baked potatoes, I haven't had baked potatoes in ages, um, kale, I don't think I've ever had kale in my life, um, I'm going to get some, some chicken in the fridge, there we go. Uh, mistake. So I forgot to, I forgot to film what I actually had. Um, it's basically two baked potatoes. I put the macros on the screen here. Um, 400 grams uh, kale, uh, which is all right. Tomatoes, chicken with the sauce. Uh, that was 275 grams of chicken. Um, 25 grams of grated cheese and 75 grams of baked beans on top of the baked potatoes. That was it, so it leaves me with 846 calories left for the day, which means one more meal. So it's 6.30 now. So I'm quite full, but 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, I'll probably eat around 9.30, 10. I'm going off to rugby training now when I come back. We shall figure it all out then. Green tea, this stuff. Mango, mango fruit thing. It tastes pretty good, so recommend getting that. Right, I will see you later tonight. So I say so all the time. Um, let me say some else. Fucking door. Okay, so no, uh, it's ten thirty at night. Um, I make some food. I put off eating until later because otherwise, if I ate, as soon as I come home, I'd be starving the whole night. So, and what I said in my last episode about the mind not knowing the difference between thirst and hunger, I researched that a bit, it's because in the brain where that decision is made is in the same part of the, uh, yeah. get my words out, in the brain, the same area in the brain is where thirst and hunger is decided, like the signal is sent out down your CNS. Anyway, coconut oil. We've got the expensive lean beef and spaghetti. Well, not the spaghetti, the tube, whatever, blah. And steaming some veggies, which are still... F Whoa. And steaming some veggies, which are still frozen. Not ideal. That's all. But let's get cooking. I have nine grams of fat left. Nine, which means we have some cheese. I am cutting. Don't send a bit. I'm cutting. I should measure everything, but 
can kind of guess that sometimes you can guess that like with salad don't track the salad a waste of time a tiny bit of cheese you can guess oh it's this many grams pasta sauce you look on the back 100 grams right is you saw in the video it was 6.7 grams there's no point weighing it perfectly you're going to know what well, if I had roughly because I, I do a lot of scale, I scale everything, almost everything, and I can roughly guesstimate. It's, if I've got 10 carbs left, 10 grams of carbs left, I'm not going to fill it all up with this, am I? Just a tiny bit, it's not going to make that much difference. So, just, just think, coming from me, that's kind of funny, but, you know. I'm going to leave this steaming because they're still frozen, and I will eat them individually by themselves later. I don't care. Take you through today's get that light up. Today's the uh, diet thing, yeah. So in the morning, see I had a lot of calories there, but we had 175 carbs, 22 grams of fat, 92 protein, which is good. So you can see oats is my main calories. I love oats. So my breakfast is usually massive. When we go to lunchtime, that's just as big. Uh and dinner. There we go. So you can see for me, I have a big breakfast, an okay lunch, and the same at dinner. And we look at the final for today. I've gone over our calories by 89, but I have burnt a lot today, so that's okay. Just going over slightly. I need to cut that out. Um, nine, four grams carbs. Nine grams of carbs are left over for today which I will, which would have gone out in that sauce I put in the fat would have been done by the cheese and we've gone over our protein which is okay so over by 26 yesterday 153 remaining the other day 230 which is not good so I need to get more consistent with that so I'm gonna eat this yeah who said cutting was out it's not look at this you just gotta Sort out, sort out your meals, don't be all. Um, no, it's hard to, it's just hard to eat that. No, you'll be fine. Just gotta experiment, that's the word. I haven't gone over the rant of protein today. I'm gonna eat this, that's my day done. It's pretty simple, nothing out of the ordinary. I had one rice cake as well, so that should finish up the carbs. So, yeah, that is a high carb meal day for me. Um, no cardio today, cardio tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday, so the weekend, which is no different for me, nothing happens, I watch rugby, I go to the gym, so, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share, uh, anyone watching wants any questions asked, comment below, I will gladly answer them, it will give me more footage to do, so that's it, I'll uh, see you on the next one.